Hello, hello, and uh, welcome back to yet another episode. Today it's kind of a special one, uh, because I am trying myself a new game. It's called a nuclear S, something like that. Idea is that you are in control of the nuclear power plant. You can explode it, uh, you can fix it. You can upgrade it and everything else. At this point I am basically kind of good running. As you can see, everything is running, but the thing is that I'm not finding a lot of videos in the YouTube at least how to balance it. You know, there is a perfect tutorial video uh, how to start everything up and there is nothing how to balance stuff. So, as you can see, I am kind of in stable condition. I'm slowly earning money. I am, by the way, upgrading to the second... Uh, second, uh, let's say... I have no idea how it's called. Because I'm not nuclear engineer. Uh, let's say, second loop, I guess. Because I will have a B2 pump, uh, steam generator turbine and uh, the condenser pump and basically it will make everything uh, much better so now about balancing uh, sometimes i mean not sometimes uh, with the time especially in the low power mode as as you can see i have only two percent less than two percent one point two percent control rods out uh, it's basically the vessel pressure will go down uh, with the time so you need to turn on the heaters uh, from time to time at the low setting to make it uh, uh, heat up and not lose pressure because then they're gonna be a steam detected and high steam level and then uh, all sorts of problems will start also uh, there is a big demand uh, changes so I'm not recommending uh, use turbine bypass valve valves because let's say I'm making 5% right yes it will make power less as you can see yes it's now climbing slowly but it will make bigger uh, heat in the condenser and they will, then they will start heating up by the way to make these values visible just click a right mouse button on the gauge and you will see and if I, for example, now make it zero, it will make a uh, more stable stuff. As you can see now, it's much stable. So it's balancing out. The best uh, to control the power is lowering the heat value of or high, making higher of the mm, primary cooling pumps. If you have more of them, it will be, of course, more complicated, but this is the beginning of the game, I have only one uh, of them. And basically this is a, this uh, circuit is cooling the core of the reactor. That means this is what is spinning, this is the primary pump, it's going down directly to the core and then it's going up to the steam big uh, generator where basically it's mixing with the, I think with the steam and water ratio and everything else. So always try to keep up around this uh, gauge level. Uh, if you think that uh, something is dropping, like uh, liters, that means you need increase the uh, flow speed in this case. And it will make stuff a little bit better. And uh, then all the heat is coming to the condenser, where it's basically recycled back uh, to the cooling system. Something like that, I guess. I'm not nuclear engineer, so I might be mistaken. Also, there is a bug or something that level might randomly increase to insanity without any questions. I have no idea how to fix it, so don't ask me. Uh, so yeah, now we can a bit speed up time. I will try to increase power for the next hour because I need. So I'm gonna do by 3% primary pumps now the uh, 
water flow will, will increase for the turbines and basically it will make a bigger power. I need to do this because my reactor is a bit overheating so I'm gonna a bit retract control rods also. Now because we're producing here more heat now this will go lower as you can see so I need to make 3% again. It's basically balancing a lot of balancing and because now we're producing more heat here it needs to be thrown into atmosphere as you can see it's climbing kind of oh no okay it's good enough for me uh, usually it's what is happening you're producing more heat here and then it's uh, throwing you need more throw to the atmosphere heat yeah it's kind of climbing yeah as you can see so i will manage just make like one or two percent just so as you can see we have more power demand is still okay in this hour so this is very good news so let's uh, speed up uh, normal time and let's explore the plant also uh, always wake up this uh, IO operating assistant and uh, ask him whatever he is uh, make him always uh, uh, check the plant because then it will be easier for uh, uh, for maintaining stuff usually you can do around three days without any maintenance if you are doing everything correct so yeah let's hope everything will be fine this is my emergency generator room and there should be a emergency batteries yep it's fully charged and everything is fine now there's a fuel cans for these generators usually when they become white that means uh, they are uh, empty and you need to throw them into this bin and it will say blah 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 so yeah now we can use the elevator because this is fancy oh yeah it's fancy elevator let's go to the floor zero where is the reactor turbine ho hall and uh, other stuff so if you want to make me more of this uh, videos like over in this game let me know in the comments below and uh, subscribe to this channel because this is fun now if you step into this water it's radioactive and you're gonna be killed or maybe not yes you are killed so basically you can have a, a fun and looking to this reactor uh, I'm not recommending of course looking at it but yeah if you want if you have desire so from time to time there is a chance that something will break it will start steaming so always keep an eye on uh, what is happening around you now let's go to the uh, turbine hall where we're gonna have a turbine generators so this is the i think the steam uh, thing that is uh, spinning the main turbine that is producing electricity yes here it's producing electricity this this big thing and this is one of the mm, that's called steam things uh, and there is yep there is my uh, second pump uh, what i was talking about uh, for these generators yeah it's nicely shining of course there is a chance that it might uh, start leaking and stuff now uh, this is the electrical room and this is the condensers uh, these are very important uh, not condensers with that um, speaking gibberish uh, what they're not connected I hope I'm not gonna get electrocuted uh, they had a bug that it's basically without any questions uh, oh hello uh, he's checking basically my plant um, these are basically absorbing uh, extra uh, unused electricity that you're producing but if you are having more uh, electricity than you need they will start heating and they can explode even also there is an audits and stuff and uh, yeah there is plenty uh, plenty things that can go wrong here also you can go outside if you want but it's not like necessary and for what so yeah it's cool everything is moving nice i like it 
So let's go inside, let's go to our control room because probably we need another power increase uh, to the reactor and uh, yeah. So this is gonna be a short tutorial how to uh, make a power, how to maintain it. If you want to see more uh, videos of this game, uh, click a like and subscribe buttons and maybe leave a comment if you have suggestions what we should do or maybe you want to see this uh, uh, exploding if you want let me know also in the comments below so let's increase the power a again uh, soon we're gonna be at the limit unfortunately and this is this not gonna be a good uh, scenario anyhow so thanks for watching and uh, we're gonna see you obviously in the next one have an absolutely fantastic day everyone